Why? Baked beans and beer. Fortnite at the cabin. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Everyone, welcome to Crafting Chills Gaming. I am your host, Helsinki, and welcome to Alan Wake 2. Oh my, oh my god, am I playing as this character right now? This hairy ass man here. Oh shit. Leave here, leave me. Naked man, where do you think I'm gonna be? Maybe a little bit crazy, maybe. Like Pop Bear, I'm Harry. Harry ass, another dying. Look at that. Hello? Go. Don't scare me like. Don't scare me like that now. Oh shit, you're trying to scare me, I know it. Hello? Don't make me shit myself, you don't want to see it. Naked and afraid. Help me up there! God dang, people! Oh! Oh shit, I almost got too much of his ass in my face. Oh! What the? Oh Jesus. I don't know what I was more afraid of, that image or that butthole image in my face. Both terrifying, I can guarantee it. Let's go in this vagina tree. Hello? I hear a bunch of noises over here, I don't like it. I can sprint? Oh, that. that's good. Let's I gotta get away from these people. These people are mad. Oh, fuck. Oh. Ah. 
Hey. Don't do that to this old man. My big belly can't handle it. Oh shit, should I go that way or should I go up to that house? Oh, I can't go up to that house, can I? Oh shit. Oh lord, I guess I gotta go. Oh shit, I gotta go this way, right? These people keep whispering them. Whoop! I know what you guys are doing. You guys are talking to them stupid microphones and making your voice sound strange. That's what you're doing. You ain't scaring me like that. Oh, what's in here? Oh, I can get. Oh, look, there's a lot over there. Let me get under this. Oh, there's, light, there's lights all around me now. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, uh. So at least I'm not, at least I'm safe from the rain, right? Let's go up to these people up here. Maybe they'll help us. Did you guys help an old man naked? Hurry back and all. I don't know if I would. I have to think twice about it. Help me. Oh shit. Can you help me, please? Help me. Huh? Oh! oh. Jesus! Oh! Jesus! take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you, too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. 
Wonder where she gets that from. Twinsies, look at that. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Invitation. Where's that deputy at? He's supposed to be half. Memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Not my territory. The map displays key locations in the area. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Hey, over here. Yeah, I'm taking lead on this. You pack up. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? I'm in charge, hey? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? I think it was you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Yeah, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. I can use the briefing. What can you tell us about the crime scene? was getting to that, Thornton. <laughs> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. These guys are crazy. Were there any witnesses? Yeah couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. Alright, let's go get a look at the body then, huh? I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, will you? I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. <sighs> Boy, these cops are... Stupid. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Okay. Well. What do you think there, FBI agent man? All the way down there, huh? It's a long walk. What'd you say? Huh? Long walk? Let's go.
I need to think through the facts of the case. My place. My version of the Mind Palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the Mind Place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. This reminds me of a Stephen King book. Tell you the truth, this is like the... Uh, I can't remember the book name now, but... Uh, yeah. Okay, so. Let's go to this mind place here. Control his goals. Get to the crime scene. Meet Deputy Thornton at the general store. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. Ted Lane, dentist. Stab wounds, bloating, bruising on the wrist. Victim was reported missing in 2010, discovered in 2012, buried in a shallow grave. Found in Cauldron Lake 2018. Some organs missing. Predation. State of the body does not match eight years spent in the lake. Wendy Davis, teacher. Body bloated, large chest wound. Percy Wolf, store owner. Bruising, heart removed. Strange tattoos. Found two weeks ago. Chest wound was ruled as cause of death. Tattooing on the body is illegible. Oh, wow. Alright, so. A series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding the connections will help our, help our search for the killer. Murder method. Slight difference in murders. Bloating only commonality in bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma. Exposure to water. Post-mortem. Bruising on wrists and, and legs. Which means they're probably tied up. Two, two of the victims had bruising in some form of restraint, strapped or belted down. Okay. Deep gash in the chest, heart missing. All bodies experience bloating. Bloating of the corpse is indicated, indic, indicative of drowning, but only one victim was found in the water. Hmm. Killer profile. Post mortem tattooing on the body. Victim number three was covered in illegible tattoos. A message from the killer, maybe? Or the art. The murder targets have no discernible common traits. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. Killer may be a sportsman or a hunter. Let's exit the mine place. This is the map here. All right, let's get out of here. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. What do we have here? More clues? Huh. I think this is more clues, Anderson. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Oh, Casey? I'm Why sorry. now? Look, Anderson. You're a I'm Anderson. better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Well, it's true, Casey. They die. 
And I got a feeling you're going to die. Hey, I found something. Look at this. Missing Doberman found on the trail. A heartfelt reunion took place this weekend when Mrs. Amanda Smith was reunited with her beloved coffee bean. Was it actually not okay? Okay, okay. Bright Falls on virtual baking champ. Okay, I don't care about that. Does, does a hike a day keep depression away? Chaos at Cauldron Lake. Rampage at the rental cabins. An unidentified man attacks vacationers in the dead of night. Sunday. Oh, Sunday. An idyllic even, evening of barbecuing and late night fishing was violently disrupted on Saturday as a mysterious assailant attacked park visitors, causing chaos and destruction at the cabins. The incident left three people injured, one of which had been admitted to the county hospital. As to whether the attackers is still at large, Bright Falls police have yet to make an official statement, leaving local residents in a state of... Okay, where we go? In a state of... Where am I at? Of okay, there are. Uncertainty. Witnesses to the crime were... Visibly shaken, one of the one of whom stated, "One minute we were laughing and toasting some marshmallows, and the next we heard screaming coming up from the cabins. We didn't know what was going on, so we had to call the police and started running in the opposite direction." Said Kurt Mill, another eyewitness who preferred to remain anonymous, said, "It's like he appeared out of nowhere." Suddenly, my dog starts barking his head off, and this psycho guy comes crashing through the trees. Don't think I'll ever feel safe in this forest again. A representative from the, from the rental cabins who, chased, um, who chose to remain anonymous wanted to remind customers, if you have plans to stay in our lovely cabins later this summer, please get in touch with us as we may need to... Rejigger some of the reservations based on the state of the cabin that you have rented. Uh, where am I at again? With us. The representatives went on to further remind future and potential guests of the wonderful amenities that can be found in their company's brochures and on the website, which is real nice. To the art. My nephew made it, and he's a real computer whiz. Okay, so we found a clue, or did we? I think I found something, I'm not sh quite sure. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Mirror peak. Hold on, I found another clue. Don't go nowhere. Else. Mirror peak. The mighty mountain in the distance is is no other than Mirror Peak. The iconic landmark overlooking the cauldron lake. On the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. I think that might have been a clue too, I'm not sure. Fucking nature. Oh, nature is wonderful. Headache. You get a headache from nature. Sky. I guess we can't get that way. Let's go this way. Hey. Why don't we go this way, Casey? What am I following you for? Aren't you supposed to be following me? Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing.
Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. <laughs> if they did, next coffee's on me. I'm not taking that bit. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the <laughs> body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Any clues around here? So, the FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. Those are real? You guys hiring? Oh, he's Let's just see this body, shall we? No, but there are UFO cover ups, I can guarantee it. Oh, Jesus, I don't want to see this guy. Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. And we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the M.O. of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlocked your first key image. Jesus, did I ever. You can place it on the case board inside the mine place. C allows you to saga allows saga to see active clues. The key images can be selected with the left mouse and place them on the case board. There. Another go. body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? I think not. Oh look. We're connecting the dots here. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Consistent with the previous murders. Hmm. That's a good question. It is consistent with the previous murders to a degree that he was bloated and cut. Objectives are viewable at the case board in your goals. Pressing the control button. <gasps> Investigate the crime scene. You are now free to examine the case board or leave to escape. The objectives. Okay. Another body has been found in the woods near Bright Falls. Perfect timing. Need to see if this is linked to the killers we're here to investigate. Of course it's linked, don't you know? Find evidence. We must find evidence. Oh. <gasps> Loading. Oh, there's all the stuff. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Let's exit on my place. Boy, he's disgusting. Step one, examine the corpse. Do I really got to? I know he's going to use the excuse it's cold outside, but he's a little shrinky dinky there. Want to start by inspecting the body, Anderson? Uh, I was doing such a thing and then I got distracted. I was shrinky dinky. I can collect clues from the body and, and progress the investigation. Oh, look. Here, look here. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. That, 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 that's familiar. We're familiar with that one. Oh, Incised stab wound. Chest cut open. 
Heart removed. Heart removed. See? It's not that. Oh, guess what that is? That says heart. The killer right left the heart right next to the body. After he took a bite out of it like an apple. Oh my gosh, we gotta go back to our mind space. Oh, don't tell me we can zoom in on different things. I don't want to zoom in on that one part. Boy. Let's go to our mind space. And press C button. Found the heart near the body. Major chest trauma and cargo straps used to restrain. Pink. On to the open question. There we go. Heart was removed, but then left on the table near the body. Was this mother interrupted? Oh my gosh. I think it were. Bruising indicates the victim was alive when restrained. Matching the other cases. Yes, it were. <sighs> and what a major chest. That's almost like, almost like a... Oh, come up. Oh, oh, come up. Get back over this way. There you go. And now... Heart removed from chest. Strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. Yes. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. The clues have resolved the open question and, and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Okay. You can check the updated goals by pressing the control. Okay, I know that. You told me that before. Learn more about the victim. Learn more about the killer. Find evidence. Talk to someone. All right. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. I need to find more clues. Hm. What have we here? Large amount of blood on the table. Large amount. The victim died here. Yes, he did. Multiple <gasps> people were here. Multiple <gasps> killers? Yes, I see it too. The footprints. They're all about. And they look like man's footprints. Big. Square. Like they're wearing dress shoes almost. Like footprints. Lordy. Wearing dress shoes and the and the and, and, and the forest? It doesn't make no sense. Let's go to our mind space. Heavy blood splatter on the table. That's gotta be the victim. Oh. Okay. Now this is the victim. Or is it the killer? No, it's the killers. They really made a mess here. Cut up in the act. Or just sloppy work. Well, I do believe they were caught up in the act. That's my deduction at the moment. Multiple sets of, of footprints. Hmm. This is the killers for sure. Oh, and it is. Bootprints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Quite the party, I agree. Lots of activity there. It's unlikely our killer's our killer was working alone. My god. Did they plan for the murder to happen here? I think they did. It's over here. More clues. Oh, beer. What 
is this? Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Yes, they did. Was it for a camera? Huh. Well, they're recording this thing. Quite unique. Now look at all this beer they were drinking. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. Yes, they did. But they were smoking cigarettes, too. Hmm. And what is this? This young guy can't get to it. Because if I block out a minute, don't, 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 don't worry. I'm just, I'm just in deep thought. This is for later. I don't want it to be for later. I want it to be for now. Any more? I shouldn't wander off too far from these guys. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Oh, got it. What do we got here? A creepy twig sculpture? Hmm. That sounds witchcrafty. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Oh yes, it's got a lock. Confused. Follow the steps. Wash hands. Take chicken out of fridge. Take a nap. I don't think this is our killer. This is probably the, the other people. Garden supplies. Somebody is trying to plant a garden here. That's very suspicious. Let me get in his house. Oh, another one of those things. In the company of witches, I think. Hello? Anybody here? Oh, more of them things. Look at that, all over the wall. There was one right there. Very suspicious light. What's this? Another hey clue. there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Uh, he's not gonna he's not gonna uh, answer our questions though, I don't think so. Let's go find something else that will answer our questions. Boy, baked beans and beer. Fortnite at the cabin. Oh, more of them signs. Oh, over the place. This gotta be witches here. Oh, witches have uh, witches coven. Sleeping on the floor too. Look at this. Ew. What's this? Gotta be something here. What is this? Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano or sinkholes it leaves in its wake. But what if that's not true? What if something, what if it's something else, something less natural and more man-made, intentional? I say the lake's not formed, it's designed, and it has purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be. Oh, I gotta find it again. Ready to be. Activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button. They're in the, that big house by the lake. Preparing. I know it. First drawing. Waterline. Real caldera is made from a volcano. 
lava. Second drawing. Waterline. Engineered structure. Strange machines. Look at that. He's right. Oh my god. This is man made. What are they? Oh, there's more than signs. It's like this one's different though. This is. Hey, Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the ridi- A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. Oh, there's a. There's a tree angle right there. Man, this is... Lord, let me put this thing away. Look, they were grilling out here too. Drinking a bunch of bed. Oh, oh. There's an axe. That's a, that's a potential murder weapon right there. Let me go back over here though. Hmm. Anderson. Hey, let's get back to work over here. Can we? Yeah, I'm coming back. There you are. I'm looking for clues, man. That's what FBI guys and girls do. We look for clues. Obviously, you guys had missed them. Have you identified the victim? Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Ah. Uh. There's an FBI agent. A little bit out of shape, though. My God. They're killing FBI agents out here. And I'm one. Oh, my God. They're coming up to me next. That's another clue. Yeah, a little hot, too. He had a big stomach, a little hot, and a little other things. Poor fella. All right, let's get on with this case. You knew the victim, Casey? So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Hmm. More clues to the dump. What happened after he got fired there, Casey? So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. I bet there is no too. happy ending. Casey, you're hiding something from me, I can tell. I can see it in your face. You're not even looking at me, man. So he's been missing since 2010? Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm-hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. And that is it for me, ladies and gentlemen. I love you guys. Be sure to click uh, like and subscribe. I love you all. I had to all. review the clues. Yes, I know. I gotta review the clues. I'll do that next time. God. She's so impatient. Women. Love you guys. Good night now. Bye-bye.